Welcome to Core Program. In this video, we discuss about how to read the connection string using model class from upsetting.json file. In our previous video session, we have already discussed about how to read the connection string inside the startup.cs from upsetting.json file in sp.net core. Suppose in a scenario where we want to save the mail configuration or the SMS configuration key value pairs in upsetting.json file and you want to access in a controller. Here we take an example where the mail configuration key value pairs are stored in the upsetting.json file. Suppose you have another four key value pairs are there. So it's very difficult to access one by one in sp.net core application. To get rid of this, we use two processes where you paste the data at a time. In this example, we will see how to read the connection string using model class and then how to read the connection string using iOption interface in controller. What is iOption interface and what is the use in sp.net core? We just elaborate in a bit. So let's create a sp.net core OV application and see how the two processes are work. Create new project, then choose sp.net core OV application as a template, then click next, then choose your location, then set your project name. then click create then uncheck the https as we have used http only then select the web application template here then click create you can see here the sp.net mvc application is ready to use now we need to add the mail config with the key value pairs in the upsetting.json file i have already written the mail config with key value pair just copy it and open the upsetting.json file let comma here and paste that you can see that the mail config is our section and the mail form host name port number and password is the key value pair of that mail configuration so let's discuss how to read the mail configuration using the model class right click on the models then add a class suppose the class name is mail config like this attribute mail from host port number and password we need to declare the property here with me i have already declared the property i just copy here and paste that like this we need to inject the mail config class in the startup.cs configures services method so to add the service we need to type services dot add singleton then configuration dot get section here our section name is mail config then dot get off here we need to inject the mail config model class copy that and paste here to add the namespace in the keyboard hit control plus dot you can see the namespace is added here dependency injection has three types of live events one is at singleton art scoped and art transient in our upcoming videos we go through the details about art singleton art scoped and art transient here we use art singleton that means only a single instance will ever be created in a lifetime that instance is shared between all components that require it so let's add a new controller and in the controller we need to inject the mail config model class and uh, access the upsetting digestion value so to add to the controller right click here then mbc controller as empty then add here suppose the controller name as mail controller add it in the mail controller we are going to inject the mail config model class we do the constructor injection so add the constructor as ctor then double tap then the model class name is mail config the name as config here assign a private variable and append the mail config class private variable let's say is config equal to config you can see we are not declaring the private variable so just right click here recommendation is there private variable so just hit enter here you can see the private variable is declared suppose we want to access the mail config key value inside the index method so to access that we just type string email equal to then the private variable is underscore config dot 
you can see the mail form is directly come here like this you can access other information also keep in mind that in startup.cs the default controller is home controller but uh, uh, we have the mail controller so we need to change as mail and the action name is same so just uh, debug here and uh, run our application let's move the mouse to the config uh, private variable and extract it you can see all the host name mail from password and port number is directly come here also if you want to access one by one then you can get here just tape over you can see that the email is read perfectly as well as the host name so this is the fast way to get the read the connection string using the model class in the right of your controller now let's discuss how to read the connection string using iops and interface in the controller so move our application let's do it in another controller that is in home controller in the home controller already the constructor is defined so we need to inject the i option in the home controller so i add i options then hit control dot you can see that the i option is belongs to microsoft extension dot options so just double click that we add our model class like mail config let's hit config and a private variable and assign that let's our private variable is config is equal to config to add a private variable just uh, type control dot then the recommendation is there just hit enter it can add the private variable for us so let's discuss first what is the i options in uh, sp.net code in sp.net code this model configuration has been significantly extended and enhanced application settings can be stored in multiple places like in environment variables apps setting transition user secrets etc and it easily accessed through the same interface in your application the new configuration system in sp.net allows strongly type setting using i options to read the offsetting value just type string email equal to let's the private variable is config then dot value dot mail from let this one is host and value dot host like this you can read other key value so let's change the default controller here as home then save it to read the offsetting value through i option we need to add in the startup class services let configure then the model class then the section name configure dot get section then our section name that's it save it and let's debug here and run the application you can see the email and the host name is read as expected when you move the mouse in the config and uh, extract it and extract the value you can see all the key value pair are listed here accordingly you can segregate here so far in this video we have discussed how to read the connection string using the model class and how to read the connection string using i option interface that's it in the video in the next video we discuss how to set the connection string dynamically and the read the connection string the source code is on github and it's shared in the description box for more details please visit the core program website the link is shared in the description box do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching